Good evening, Ma. Nadia, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Nadia, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Your voice is too low, ma'am, Nadia. Good evening, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Let me start, man. Nadia? Ma'am, let me start. Uh, allow the another person, it's they are requesting, ma. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, I didn't got any notification. Yeah. Oh, ma'am, I've been put the time. Hello, ma'am. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, ma'am. Start from. One minute, ma'am, I will see. Oh, that's a sad Oh, I'm going to go to video. I'm going to go to video. No, the speaker is headphone. Head headphone. 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 Headphone.
Hello. Uh -huh.
Ma'am, can we start the session, ma'am? Actually, they, they got us some issues in uh, uh, like in YouTube, ma'am. If they are uh, earning means they, are, they can't able to get inside, ma'am. Nadia, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Even I can't hear your voice properly. It's too low. And now is now, ma'am. No, no, it's I can't be able to hear your voice. Now, can you hear me, ma'am? All are facing so much of difficulty, ma'am, to join in uh, YouTube. Also, they are telling that we can't be able to uh, hear your voice, ma'am. Now, can you hear me, ma'am? Now also, I can't be able to hear your voice. Just increase your audio at least, ma'am. Now, ma'am. Please increase your audio, please, ma'am. Uh, I increased, ma'am, uh, full. Now, can you hear me, ma'am? Nadia, ma'am. Ma'am, can you hear me? Vashni, can you hear me, ma? Yes, ma'am. Just unmute and talk. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me, ma'am? Your voice is too low for me. Okay, okay, I will adjust, ma'am. Now, Vashni, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I can hear you, ma. Ma'am, Nadia, ma'am. Um, yes, ma'am. Okay, let me start, ma'am. I can hear you now, ma'am. Oh, can okay, you hear me, ma'am? Yeah, yes, Sashni, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Uh, ma'am, some problems going on with YouTube, I think so, ma'am. So, many are telling the complaint. So, let me sort it to next uh, tomorrow section, okay, ma'am? Okay, ma'am. Uh, let me start uh, once again, ma'am. I'll give an introduction for you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Good, uh, good evening to one and all present here. I welcome you to for three days workshops. I'll kindly grant uh, permissions to give a inaugural welcome function uh, speech by Vaishnavi. Vaishnavi is started inaugural. Is it okay, ma'am? Yeah, I can hear you, ma. Okay, ma'am. Good evening to one and all present here for the three days online Python workshop. On behalf of Panimala Engineering College, it's my pleasure to thank our beloved secretary, Sir Dr. P. Chinnadurai, MA, PhD, respected directors, Tirumati C. Vijay Rajeshwari, Dr. C. Shakti Kumar, Sir, ME, PhD, and Dr. Saranya Sri Shakti Kumar, Ma'am, MBA, PhD. Principal Sir, Dr. K. Mani, ME, PhD, Dean of Human and Sci Humanities and Science, Dr. R. Manmohan, Sir, PhD, and HOD of CSE Department, Dr. S. Murugavalli, Ma'am, PhD, for giving this great opportunity to conduct three days online recent trending in Python workshop with Pantech Solutions. I would like to introduce about resource person, Ms. Nadia, Project Engineer, Pantech Solutions. She has experience of over five years as firmware developer of artificial intelligence applications. Her domain of interest was machine learning and artificial intelligence. She has completed her post-graduation in Anna University, Chennai. The day one session is hand over to you, ma'am. Ma'am? Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.
A very good evening to all. Uh, this is a three-day online workshop on recent trending in Python programming. Uh, this Pantech in collaborating with Panimala Engineering College uh, with Department of CSC, IT, C and CSBS and Mech and Civil. Okay, Python, Python is a general purpose interpreter, right? So, Yep. Python is a general purpose interpreter that interactive and object oriented and a high level programming language. This Python language was created, created by Guido von Rosham during 1985 to 1990. Uh, like to peer, the Python source code is also available under the GNU. GNU means general public license. Uh, Okay, this uh, tutorial uh, in this tutorial session that's give enough understanding on Python programming language, right? So, Python is one of the high level programming language. It is easy to learn and uh, we can fastly learn and uh, we can fastly develop some application using Python. Then, available for this Python code is available for many platforms. Then implement complex logic with a very few line of code. Okay. Why one should use Python? What can I do in Python? Why Python is popular? Why do you want to learn Python? Python is a high level interpreter and interactive and object oriented scripting language. So the Python is designed to be highly readable and it uses like to English words and frequently whereas other language use punctuation also. And it has fewer syntactical construction than other, other programming languages. Python is a must for student and working professionals to become a great software engineer, especially when they are working in web development domain. I will list down some uh, some key advantage of Python learning. Okay, first one is Python is interpreted because Python is processed at runtime by the interpreter. You do not need to compile your program before executing it. This is similar to Perl and the PHP. The next one is Python is interactive. Okay, we can actually sit at Python prompt and interact with the interpreter directly to write your programs. Then next one is Python is object oriented because it supports object oriented style or technique of programming that encapsulates code within objects. Then fourth, fourth one is Python is a beginner's language because it is a great language for, a, for the beginner level programmers and to support the development of a wide range of application from simple text processing to uh, like to www.com browsers and game development like to that. It has some specific characters also. This Python programming, it supports functional and the structured programming method as well as Oops concept also. It can be used as a scripting language or can be compiled to byte code for building large applications. Then it provides very high level dynamic data type and supports dynamic type checking. Then also it supports automatic garbage collection. Then it can be easily interacted with C, C++ and Java also. 
python is mostly used in data processing python is one of the powerful language for complex data processing okay that modular toolkit for data processing that one is developed by using python only then it's also give high high performance in signal processing also we can be using python we can process the signal and the python contribution is a uh, neuroscience data analysis it is a great example for signal processing then in pygame pygame is a one of the one of the platform to develop a game so pygame also writing by python only then maya python this tool is one of the movie creation tool this this tool also written by python only we can develop some animation movie using this tool then music softwares the music software also we can create using python like the audio player audio converters music notations and the audio analysis mp mp3 stuff and the metadata editor so those softwares are we can written by using python in website development also python give its powerful development mostly the django software is used for website development for the web development framework okay the python have two versions one is python 2 then python 3 what is the difference between python 2 and python 3 python 2 is legacy and the python 3 is the present and the future okay now presently we mostly use python 3 okay then python 3 was that that one is released in 2008 and it don't have enough libraries so mostly we are use python 2 still now somebody is use python 2 okay this is the ideally we just write our code in this shell okay the basic program in python is just hello world okay we just write that code using python i just to give you a little excitement about the python i am going to give you a small conventional python hello world program okay i just to give print hello python okay in my output i got hello python right so this is very basic and this simple program in python language And the next one is python interactive mode and yeah, this one is the python intra uh, interactive mode right so this is interactive mode we can write our code in this this types of cell okay then using control n or this file here we we can create new file i just give print hello world i just save that code in my folder
So here also I got the same output only. The next one is Python identifier. Okay, the Python identifier is just a name that is used for used to identify a variable and a function, class, or module, or other object also. An identifier that is taught with a letter like to A to Z or like to capital A to capital Z or small A to small Z like to that and a underscore also followed by uh, followed in identifier. Then zero or some more letters include underscore like uh, zero to one, zero to nine and underscore a to z like to that. Python does not allow punctuation characters such as like to like to add and uh, percentage like to that. Python is a case sensitive programming language, right? So. Thus, the manpower and the manpower are two different identifiers in Python. Here are naming convention for Python identifier that are class name must start with an uppercase letter only. All other identifiers start with lowercase letters. Starting an identifier with a single leading underscore indication that the identifier is private. Then starting an identifier with the two leading underscores that indicate a strongly private identifier. And if the identifier also end with the two trialing underscores, the identifier is a, a language that defines a special name only. Then we use some reserved word. We call it, those are keywords like to and assert break class continue the def that that is used for definition then for deleting function we use the okay those things are reserved keywords we are used in python programming language then lines and the indentation the lines and the indentation is very important concepts in python programming language right because the python provide no braces to indicate block of code for class and functions and the def and it definitions. These definitions are for, that is a flow control only. Those block of code are denoted by line indentation, which is rigidly enforced.
Yeah, the number space, the number of space in the indentation is variable, but all the statement within the block must be intended the same amount. For example, here we show, here we declare the condition statements. Okay, if the condition is true, means if the we got we got the output true. Otherwise, we got the output false. But here, in our statement, indentation is must. Okay. I just give you a demo for it. Uh, Nadia, ma'am, sorry for interference, ma'am. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, the students know this and all, ma'am. Just go and behind this, ma'am, and uh, take a uh, object oriented like a uh, class objects that and all, ma'am. They are well known of this, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, ma'am, but uh, this session only basic, ma'am, then uh, remaining two days class. Uh, I just go at least of our programming voice, ma'am. Yeah, sure, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me discuss about the data structure in python programming okay the first one is list before know about this what is the list list are used to store multiple item in a single variable right so list are one of the four built in data type in python that is used to store collection of data one is list then other three are tuple, set, and dictionary. Okay, those all are have four different four different qualities. Okay, the basic list is we can create just declare a variable. Here I declare my list. Then instead of, sir. Your screen is not shared, ma'am. Now, ma'am, now I have now I have hope my screen. Uh, yeah, is yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay, ma'am. Okay, within the parentheses, I give some data like to and Okay, then within the print, I just call my variable, my list. I just save that code and run it. I got my all the 
listed data in my output, right? The list item or the, the main concept in list means the list item or ordered changeable and it allowed duplicate values, okay? The list item or indexed. So the first item has index zero, okay? Here the ant have the index value zero. Then the second item, apple have the index value one. Then the third item, cat have index value two, right? So what is meant by ordered? When we say the list or order, it means that the item have a defined order and that order will not change. If you add new item to list means, the new item will be placed at the end of the list only. Then changeable. Changeable means the list is changeable means that we can change or add or remove the item in a list after it has been created only. Before that, we can't change it. Then uh, list, list or allowed duplicates. Since the list are indexed, uh, indexed and the list can have some item with the same value, like two. Here I declare another item. And. So those things also acceptable in list only. We can find out the, our length of list using the attribute len, L-E-N. Okay, before, the, before my variable name, I just give the attribute len. Finally, I got, my, I got length of my list. Then how we can find out data type of our list items? List is acceptable all data types, right? It's acceptable string, integer, float, boolean, etc. Here I declare another list. My list two. So it has some integer value, like to one, two, three, Object patients.
using the attribute type we can <clears throat> we can got our data type type of our data okay i just give print type of my list two okay it give the output which type our list is we we create our we create a data is in type of list only right okay then there are four collection data type in python right we are uh, previously discussed one that is list tuple and set dictionary okay uh, list is list is a collect, uh, collection of data okay which is ordered and changeable and allowed to duplicate members those things are now we discussed then tuple tuple is a collection which is ordered and uh, the main difference between the list and the tuple is list is ordered tuple also ordered but list is changeable but tuple is unchangeable then both are allowed duplicate members then set set is uh, unordered and unchangeable that is totally different from uh, list and tuples it's also allowed duplicates then we move to dictionary means the dictionary is a uh, that is ordered only then it's also changeable but in dictionary there is no duplicate members okay that dictionary is doesn't allow any duplicate members that is the difference between all four collection of arrays in python next how we can access some items from list okay i just give its index value here i just to declare its index value i give two means here i can access the second indexed value this one is zero index then it have index value 1 then it have index value 3 okay in my output i got the value 3 only sorry my list 2 here right then we can here i give negative index means okay here i give positive index positive index means the index value is calculated by beginning of the list here i give minus 2 means the index value is calculated from the end of the list it have the index value minus 1 minus minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 means it's also represent the value 3 right here i give minus 1 means i will got output 2 sorry 4 right then here i give one range like to 2 is to 5 sorry 1 is to 3 it will give the output from index 2 to index 3 it have index value 0 1 Two, three. Okay. Here I give minus range means it will calculate from minus index value. 
minus 1 means 4, minus 3 means it, it represents 2. So finally I got the output 2, 3, 4. Then how we can change our list item? I just mentioned one specific list index value. In my list, I have index value one, right? In first position, first index value, I, I will go to change. Then here I print the same my list. Finally, I got changed value here, right? The same thing, I changed the zero to index value means the ant is replaced by mango. Right? Here we can give range of value also. Here I give 1 is to 2 means. So I just run this code. It the first and the, the second and the third index value is changed by mango and the orange, right? Then the next thing is how we can insert some item using the attribute insert. So here I do attribute insert. I want to insert one element at the second index value, okay? So I just mentioned that index value Then I give some data here. Okay, finally, I inserted my data, my new data in with my old list. Using the attribute append, we can add we can add our item in our list. Then using the attribute insert, we can add we can insert some data with a specific indexed value. Then we can extend our list also using the attribute extend. Then using the attribute remove here, I give remove means.
data has been forwarded. Okay. Wait for me. Here I give the attribute remove. It will remove the element from our original list. Right, it removed the our data and we want to remove specified index value means we can use the attribute pop. So here I give attribute pop. Okay, it will remove the specified index element. Using the attribute there, we can delete a specified index to index to data. Here I change the attribute del means. Using the attribute clear, we can clear the 
all the data from our list. The next one is tubal. Tubals are used to do the same. This it it will store multiple item in a single variable. Tubal is collection of uh, collection of data which are which is which data are ordered and unchangeable. Simply, we can create the tubal using parentheses. The main difference between the list and tubal is a uh, list is represented by square parentheses. Uh, tubal is represented by simple parentheses. Using the same procedure, we can access the tubal element using its index value. Tubals are ordered, right? Ordered. Uh, we are already discussed. Ordered means the all the item have a defined order. Then it's unchangeable. Unchangeable means that we can't change or we can't remove item after the tubal has been created. Then it's also allowed duplicates. Using the same length attribute, we use we can access the length of tubal. Next we uh, move to set. We are already uh, discussed the two sets are unordered, right? Unordered means the set have no defined or no specified index values, right? The set item can be appear in different order and every time you use them and the can't be referred by any index or any key. Then the two sets are unchangeable also. We just create a set using curly parentheses. Okay, now I got my list uh, set. Okay, list are represented by square parentheses, then set are represented by curly parentheses. That, that is the main uh, difference. Then remaining all the operations are same only. Then dictionary. Dictionaries are, it have two values. One is key, then another one is value okay dictionaries are have pair of values we can declare the dictionary using square parenthesis only but it have key and the value apple means red
then mango represent the color yellow Here I got our dictionary items. So the dictionaries are unordered, ordered, or ordered and it's changeable. It doesn't allow any duplicates. Here we give any duplicates means it shows some error only. It, it doesn't allow duplicates. Okay, in this class we are discussing very basic python only then next class we will move to advance of python thank you ma'am thank you nandini ma'am sujata so, will give you a word of thanks uh, Nandini ma'am, we need some more to uh, interact with the industrial. Um, next class, we can see that many projects like that. Vote of thanks. On behalf of all the participants, I thank our institution to give a great opportunity to interact with the resource person for gaining the knowledge of reason changing in Python. Stay tuned for tomorrow's session. I kindly request all the participants to fill the feedback and attendance form. Thank you. Thank you, students. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, let me end the session.